everybody and welcome back to another episode of let's play don't stop today we are starting up in a brand new world because last episode we died and it was very sad and depressing and i don't even want to talk about it we died to spirit hands like spirit hands should be happy they should be peppy and exciting these spirit hands were not they were very sad and depressing and i just i don't want to talk about it and the time before when we died we starved to death when we had food on i don't i don't even want to talk about it this time around we're not gonna die to something stupid i'm determined we're gonna die from something epic spirit hands not epic enough for me definitely need something better than spirit hands today we are going to concentrate on getting uh, lots of different things like grass sticks flint logs things of that nature and of course food so it's good that we have ran into these things and obviously the first thing you probably noticed is we are no longer playing as the robot sweet flint we can start cutting down some trees we are now playing as weber i'm pretty sure weber is half spider so that means that spiders will be our friends similar to how pigs normally are. But now pigs are not going to be our friends and act how spiders would normally act to other characters. feel like I probably just explained that really poorly. But hopefully you got the gist. So now we can make spider armies. And it's actually pretty easy to do because when spiders come out, they usually come out in twos or threes. Whereas pigs usually only come out in ones if there's only one house. So that's going to be kind of cool. Um, I'm also really, really hoping that in this world we have a pig king. And the last one we didn't really crossing my fingers that we can find one. And also that we can just have a good base setup. The last one we had really, really conveniently placed wormholes. So I'm hoping we can either get a similar setup in this world or we can um, just get everything close together. But of course, that is all chance, but hopefully it works out. How far have we traveled so far? We didn't check if there's any beefalo in here, but I mean, that depends on how big this savanna is. But let's just keep walking. Kind of want to get as much mapped today as I possibly can. And then if there's a spot that we decide to go back to, then we can walk back to that. Uh, another thing that I noticed is that the rabbit holes in the savanna back there were open, which is awesome because that means that the next season coming up is winter. When you have the Reign of Giants uh, DLC installed, you'll either spawn in autumn or spring. If you spawn in autumn, then winter is coming next, obviously, and then spring, summer is coming next. So we have winter coming up, which is... In my opinion, it's a lot easier to deal with than the summer, so that's going to be really nice. We won't have a failed summertime. Hopefully, we won't be caught with our pants down this time around. Let's go ahead and get on this path that's over here. Uh, but yeah, that's just a, a tip to know that when rabbit holes are closed, that means it's spring. When they're open, that means it is autumn. I'm pretty sure spring is the only... Uh, which way do we want to go? I think we'll go this way. I'm pretty sure spring is the only season where rabbit holes are closed. Uh, you may have also noticed that when we spawned, when we started, we had two monster meat and a spider egg. Ooh, this path is a good sign. I'm pretty sure these paths always lead to pig kings. So hopefully we can find one. Here's a gold rock over here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Just kidding, we don't have enough flint. Uh, is there flint on the map nearby? Uh, not until you go all the way back there. Well, dang it, we'll have to skip this guy. I'm assuming we'll probably find some more, and if we don't, we can remember just to come back. How are we doing on grass? We have 20 grass and 19 sticks, which is pretty decent for right now. I do want to grab as much grass as I can. There's also a dead body up here. Oh, with a pickaxe! Perfect. I do want to grab as much grass as I can, though, because grass in particular goes by really, really fast. Especially in the beginning when you're trying to get hats and backpacks and things made. Uh, which I think I might go for a flower wreath for a hat instead of... Where did that pick go? There it is. Instead of the uh, straw hat, I think it's called. Because... Oh, and here's more flint. Perfect. Uh, but I might try to go for the flower wreath hat instead of the straw hat because in autumn it doesn't rain nearly as much as what it does during the spring. So we shouldn't have to worry about rain too much, but we also do need some extra petals in case it does start raining. 
Also, another perk of using the spider or Weber, I guess, instead of the robot, is that the robot would take damage with rain, but the spider does not, which is going to be very lovely. It was kind of annoying that that happened with the robot. I don't actually know the robot's name. Ooh, do I want to try jumping through this? How far we've gone? Uh, we've gone pretty far. I'm assuming whenever I do... Uh, Whenever I generate a new world, I always make my terrain go in a loop just because I think it's easier. I don't have to travel as much and completely map out the world quite as much. Uh, I don't know if I want to jump through there or not. I might just keep going. I don't know because it's nighttime and I just don't want to deal with my sanity being really low. Because I feel like if you jump through a wormhole, particularly when it's getting dark out, then it can be more of an issue. Go ahead and pick up flowers. I think we'll make a wreath. And then if we come across another wormhole, then I think we'll jump through that one. Uh, and how many do you need for a wreath again? You need 12. Okay. So we're about halfway there. Uh, no. Do not. Okay, good. The turkeys will take berries off the bushes, and it's rather annoying. Let's go ahead and pick this stuff. It's... It's a little boring, but we really do need this stuff. We're pretty good on food, though. Oh, yeah, another perk of being Weber is that Weber can eat monster meat, which is the reason that we started out with some. Which, although, doesn't really make much sense, though, because no other character starts out with food. So, but whatever. It's a nice thing to have. And it's really easy to get spiders to fight each other, actually. If you just have one monster meat, you can friend a spider. You can get another nest to attack a different nest. And then, oh, 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 oops, oops, don't die, don't screw this up, let's put this down over here. No, oh god, please don't die, thank you for placing the fire in enough time, I didn't realize it was so late. Okay, plop that in there, let's see here, what do we want to do? Oh, well that was, that was very smooth of me, I didn't realize it was gonna do that. Okay, let's go ahead and eat our berries to wolf till we are full. I'm not going to worry about saving them for a crock pot or anything right now because we're probably not going to get one for a little while. We only need one more flower and then we can make a wreath. Uh, let's see here. And I guess we can make, uh, we can make a science machine or no? Oh, we need one more rock. Dang it. Okay. So if we run into more rocks, we can make another one. We do have enough for a pretty parasol if we need one. But I really, really want to make a backpack right now, but we need a science machine for that. We do have enough supplies. I didn't realize it only takes four. thought it took more than that. The question is, do I want to cut down this tree and get charcoal from it? I think I'm not going to do that until I get more of a base set up and I know where I want to set everything up. Just because I don't want to be carrying around extra items if I don't need them. Uh, but this spider egg here, you can plop it down and it will create a little spider nest, obviously. And come on, daytime. Come on. Come on, daytime. You're almost there. Uh, but you can place a spider nest maybe in your base or something. And that will come in handy later if you want to make spider armies and things. Spider armies are going to be really awesome though. Although, pigs do help you. Let's go ahead and make that wreath now. Um, or garland. Would it be called a wreath? Could it be classified as a wreath? I don't really know. Spider armies come in handy though when fighting like the gear monsters and things like that. So they'll be nice to have for that. I think this is a rock biome up here. Kind of tempted to grab some of these. Kind of just want to keep walking and have that in mind that there's rocks over here. We do need niter. We're going to need niter in the future for giants. Which is actually something that we haven't ran, to, ran into during this series yet is, I want this way, is giants, which I mean the DLC is called Reign of Giants, so there are giants. There's one for each season, but we have yet to run into one. I know there's a little gold around here, but I don't feel like going off the path and grabbing it. Kind of just want to map a lot of things out today. There's a, not a wormhole, a sinkhole to the, to the underground, which is nice. I'm really hoping we can run into, the reason that I want to stay on this path and just keep moving really, other than mapping it out, is because these paths usually lead to, oh, sweet, this is awesome to find right off the bat. Let's go ahead and set this up, a little touchstone, so now if we die, we we can get back to all things, very nice. Uh, but these paths usually lead to the pig king, 
these nice cobbled ones they like i said they usually tend to lead to the pig king so i'm really hoping that's where this one will lead me to but i'm not entirely sure i don't know if that's always 100 percent that these will lead you to them or not uh, here's one of these for us. I'm sure if we search through here, we would find some spider nests, which is good to keep in mind. Um, but, yes, I don't really know what else to talk about. Okay, here's a savannah. Hopefully we can find some beefalo. It'll be nice to know where beefalo are. Perfect, beefalo. Not gonna pick up their poop quite yet. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe this is leading us to the pig king. Pig kings always sit within this biome they have a smaller biome within the biome if that makes any sense at all and there's some uh gear gear knight horse things over there so that's nice to know about come on pig king pig king pig king come on come on and there's tons of berry bushes around here which will be good i think i'll pick some of those on the way out or whatever and there's an animal print come on pig king i know you gotta be in here pig king Pig King, come on, Pig King. And we're we're in the biome that the Pig King should be sitting in. And here's the end of the path. Okay, there's pigs around here. That's a very, very good sign. You can see that they start chasing me and attacking, which is rather annoying. I'm glad that they have to- Oh, Pig, Pig King, Pig King, Pig King, I worship you. Pig King, Senpai Pig King. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're getting out of here now. They have some beautiful berry bushes up here as well. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is, uh, we'll figure out an area. Let's go ahead and look at our map real quick. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to stake out a bit of an area, map this area a little bit more, figure out the other biomes that are around here. Uh, it's really nice that the beefalo are so close by. And then again, this forest will probably have spider nests in there, which we can relocate once they get big enough. If you destroy a tier three spider nest thing then you can you'll receive a spider egg and you can place it down somewhere else so that's what we will do there again beefalo are nice to have here i'm wondering what biomes are through here or what biomes are through here whether this this um autumn biome or whatever it's called is really big or what's going on with it oh keep running dude keep running okay there oh nope he stopped chasing me and then he started again. So let's go ahead and go up through here. We're sitting on eight logs. We should probably pick up some more. Uh, seriously, Pig? Thank you. He's completely out of my screen yet. He's still chasing me. So I'm thinking... And there's a ton of mushrooms in here. Dang. Okay. So I'm really excited. Pig King, good sign. Uh, Beefalo, good sign. I'm really hoping that maybe there is a rock by him nearby. A swamp would be really nice to have nearby. And I don't think we've really seen any wormholes in this area. So we're kind of just going to have to keep our eye out for that. But let's go ahead and just keep picking these up. I should pick up flowers as well in case it starts raining so we can get a parasol going. We don't seem to be dropping food or dropping in hunger or whatever. I don't know how you would phrase that. But we don't seem to be dropping that quick in it so either Weber has more hunger than the robot or it doesn't drop nearly as fast let's go ahead and pick up these last two berries though and then I don't know where I want to go from here do I want to go I think uh well it's almost night time isn't it no it's almost dusk so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down around this way and see if there's anything around here I do want to chop down one more tree though just so we have a little extra wood. We do have pine cones as well though, so we can make the fire with our eight logs and then use the pine cones to cook it. Uh, did we pick up more rocks today? Yes, we did. Let's go ahead and replant these. So tonight we can go ahead and set up a science machine. Even though we don't really know where we're going to be setting up our full base yet, it is going to be really nice to get some, or not some, a backpack set up. So I might want to do that. Uh, do I want to pick those berries? I think I'll just leave those there for now. And this is looking like it might be a dead end down here. Kind of if we want to explore this area of, like, right now, then yeah, this is looking like a dead end. Hmm, let's keep walking this way then. If we want to explore the Pig King area, then I'm thinking, uh, we'll have to do that during the dusk. And this is... Where is our axe right now? We have 25%. What is this one at? This one's at 100, so let's go ahead and switch this out. 
Uh, I believe this is a lizard dude, so he should be able to help us out. I think when they're usually set up like this, that means it's a lizard dude, but I'm not entirely sure. There's the crank thing. Since we have a pig king, though, I don't think that we're going to be changing worlds. In the past two playthrough live things seasons, I don't really know what I'm calling them, I've always had the intention of making a world and then changing to a new one. This seems to just kind of loop around. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Let's keep looking, though. Always had the intentions of just kind of making a temporary base and then changing worlds and going somewhere else so we can get the non-renewable items and then leave the world. But I think I'm just going to stay in this world for now because, I mean, why not? I don't, because I feel like it. Because that's why. And we're also another robot, so we don't need gears now to upgrade and stuff. Oh, God. It's almost nighttime. I've done this twice in a row now. I really need to pay more attention. There we go. And then we can use our pine cones to fuel them because I'm probably not going to use them for right now. Let's go ahead and pick up these sticks. We are sitting at 24 grass right now. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just make the science machine because why not? We know where some gold is. I think there is a, a rock biome up here or something? Or up here? Where did we see those rocks? I don't remember. We know that there's a rock biome somewhere around here though. So we'll be able to grab rocks from there if need be. And I also just really, really want to get a backpack set up because it's going to help us out a lot. Uh, do I want to make anything else while we're here, though? Like a spear or something that would be in fight? Do I want to make a spear? Because we're going to need to make rope for that, and I just don't know if we're going to have enough stuff. And we need to cut down another tree to get a log suit. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go for it, just because it's going to... I did not mean to make... Oh, okay, I did mean to make that. Never mind. Let's go ahead and get that made. We'll make a... Where did fight go? Fight? That's survival. We want fight. There we go. There it is. Let's go ahead and make a spear, get that made, and then we'll go ahead and chop down this- oops, that was uh, in my hand already. Go ahead and get this tree chopped down. It's almost daytime. I actually don't think this is a full tree, but that's cool. Whatever. We currently have- yeah, it wasn't. We have five logs, um, or seven logs now. We need eight for the thing. How is this sitting? Go ahead and add one more. It's almost daytime, though. Add another one. That didn't really do anything. Didn't make the flame any bigger. That's cool. Whatever. Uh, how many do we have now? We have ten. Let's go ahead and make the suit. Boom, log suit. So there is a couple things out of the way. And we only have two logs now, so let's go ahead and cut down a couple more trees real quick. It's kind of disappointing that there are no other biomes around. Would have been nice to see those. Let's cut down this one last tree and then we'll explore a little bit more and then after this episode I'm probably gonna do a majority of exploring uh, off camera I almost said offline off camera just because I think explore it's kind of boring in this game unless you run into really good things which we kind of already hit are really good things let's go ahead and pick up this grass as well since we're kind of low at 11 now uh, but let's see here so there's obviously no biomes through here. This is kind of a dead end unless it loops right here, which I don't think it will. I'm thinking maybe there's some more off in this direction. So I think we're going to go over here. And I'll just do this real quickly and then I think we'll go ahead and end the episode. Eat a couple berries, get our health back up. One thing that I do want to try and do this season that we have not done in past seasons is I really want to get into bees. I've never gotten into bees and honey before and honey is a really great food object item thing to eat because it lasts a really, really long time and it also ups your health and although it doesn't fill that much hunger, you get a lot of it at one time, I believe. So let's pick up these. It's looking like this continues to be a dead end. Hmm, it's kind of disappointing. Very disappointing. I was hoping for a rock biome or something. But there are beefalo. We gotta keep that in mind. There's some rocks there, or a rock. Uh, and it just continues to be autumn biome. So I guess I'm gonna end this here. This kind of sucks. I wonder, there is a path up here that continues going this way and there's a path right here so I'm wondering if it does pick up and go somewhere else or if those paths just those path 
四哦哦哦哦哦哦，耶耶耶耶耶耶 ，good， very very good。There is swamp here. I'm not gonna get into the swamp right now, though, because I don't want to deal with tentacle spikes and things. But hopefully, we can get、uh, some good stuff out of here, and maybe actually, does this? So this does look like it loops around. We might last season we kind of put our base in a little loop around, so we might do that again this time, since this is kind of conveniently placed. The swamp is right here. The pig king is over here, and then the The beefalo are over here. I'm not seeing any wormholes, but you know there could be a couple around, like in here or even these little small pockets that we haven't searched yet.、Uh, but I think I'm going to end this here. Next episode, I think we'll try experimenting with some spider armies and seeing exactly how those work, and、uh, also exploring this area a little bit more and seeing if this is indeed an area we want to put a base in. But、uh, I think that is going to be about it. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play. Don't stop. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And goodbye.